wanted to share something. I was out watering my plants this morning and um, I have a lot of milkweed in my garden and uh, milkweed is for monarchs because monarch butterflies um, have been impacted by a lot of their you know habitat displacement um, and one way that's good to kind of mitigate that is to plant some milkweed because that's the only thing that the caterpillars can eat. Um, I actually need to replace a lot of this milkweed because the tropical one kind of disrupts their natural lifestyle. It's not as good as like a native milkweed, but it's a start. So I was uh, watering my garden last week with the milkweed and I saw some uh, monarch caterpillars that were down here that were eating and you can kind of see analogy, like a visual analogy for what personal growth looks like in our life. And I think about like how we as humans and spiritual beings we kind of we kind of come to this planet just like with a lot of struggles and a lot of baggage and we're these sort of fragile you know gooey little caterpillars much like the ones you see on these plants um they're totally vulnerable totally helpless they're not very like sexy they can't move fast you know it's such a contrast from what they eventually become and whenever I water these plants sometimes I'll take the caterpillars in and like I just love to see them eating I love to see their uh, especially the monarch chrysalis are so pretty um, so yeah I was watering last week and they were down here and then all of a sudden the caterpillars were gone so I was like oh okay cool they must be like on their way let me find some of the chrysalis so I actually found a few and took them inside I found two of them but I was like I know there was a little guy down here where did he go so I was watering this morning and I was filling up the uh, little like bird water thing I have and I found the chrysalis. It's all the way, way up here. If you see it right there, it's underneath the branch, that little bitty knob there in the white space. So the reason this is so impressive for me because if anybody's ever seen monarch caterpillars they're so slow and they're so fat and they're just so vulnerable and i was looking at this and i was imagining the journey that this tiny little like you know inch inch and a half long caterpillar had to make all the way across the hot concrete it's florida it's hot right all the way across despite chickens everywhere and predators and other things that could get it all the way up the tree right all the way up despite ants despite other predators and then it went all the way there just at the apex of that chain and it just to me that was just so phenomenal I just thought about how like it's sort of an, an analogy for a lot of things in our lives that if you don't take that leap you're never gonna grow. And if you don't make that scary journey where you're vulnerable and you're going outside of your boundary, because these little caterpillars, they spend all their lives on these plants, right? This is where it's safe, this is where there's food, this is where there's water. And in fact, there's one right there, a little bitty one. So this is, this is what they know. This is where they spend their life and their time. But in order for them to go and to become butterflies, right? Like that's the ultimate goal, like to be a butterfly. They can't do that until they leave their safe area, until they risk everything. They risk it all. Like, oh, look, there's a, there's a chicken right across the street, right? So like they risk it all when they make this big journey. And it just made me think that for so many of, of us in our lives, like with COVID, with the pandemic, or just with everything we've been through, um, there have been so many challenges and that we're never really going to make that. We're going to make it, we're never going to make it to that next level. We're never going to become into our own, just like the caterpillar becomes into the butterfly. We're not going to do that unless we take that really scary, risky journey. So I just think for so many reasons, like butterflies are such a beautiful analogy of, of kind of like our evolution, like as little humans, like the caterpillars that are just stuck in these pudgy little bodies to like something that can be so much more spiritually um, evolved if we, you know, cultivate and we take the leaps that we need to do. Um, and then finally, just a little PSA, if you can ever plant any milkweed, um, 
that's really good for caterpillars that are um, impacted like the monarchs and then there are a lot of other um, butterflies like I think pollinators um, overall are stressed bees are stressed um, so whatever you can do to uh, plant you know flowering plants to help the pollinators to garden organically avoid pesticides um, that does a good little thing as well so thanks for watching